but le let me tell you about an ingenious module of the often overlooked Ladik. What a genius person building really cheap, beautiful modules. Um, <clears throat> well, beautiful, always a question of taste. Minimalist modules, kind of close to the Dupfer style. Um, and now, what is this? This is a quantized sequencer. Why a jumper internally can set to, be set to unquantize. And it's not unlike this sequencer. This sequencer is also really cool. It's a 3HP uh, sequencer by Ericassons. And it's a very, very simple analog sequencer. So basically, you send in a trigger or a clock signal and it progresses along with the trigger. So, bum, 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 something like that. Now you can set it to only three steps. And it will set it to three steps wherever it is in the line. So it won't just take the first three steps. It will take the three steps that are playing at that moment. But anyway, it's going to be like bum, 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 or two steps. Bum, 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 bum. So this is really cool. I like this as a performative effect, but that's about it. That's what you can do. And it doesn't react right away in a way that it's really performative. You can switch it back and forth. It takes a while to for the loop to kind of like set in and and change it and um it's really cool but um it's it's quite limited and it's not quantized which means it doesn't really work well with the also unquantized plates module here in the micro plates version um by antumbra which is amazingly cool because it's it fits in my small case so yeah i just love it for that anyway back to the ladic now, now, there's two tricks to, to make this more interesting. There's any, any sequencer like this one as well. It's basically the module that I'm playing this one. I send, it in, send in a different trigger. This is malted here, a different trigger in this case from channel F of the versatile and beautiful niche rider um, to play it. And then the pitch comes directly from the Ladic and the Ladic gets a different trigger for the sequencer on three. So let's let's check out channel three. How is that set up? Okay, I'm basically just playing through the sequence. I could be more interesting here and doing this and that, but I wanted it to be controlled in a way uh, because already on the trigger of the um, SI 0.5 module, I'm going a bit more crazy, which is this one here. And um, I think it has a few different variations. So this makes it a bit more complicated. Let's, let's maybe start a completely new pattern to, uh, to be a bit more easy. So I am now playing a trigger on every fourth. And while the Ladic is not progressing whatsoever, it's just playing the basic note. This way you can order. So you can hear that it's quantized. Maybe you can hear it if you have a musical ear. And then, well, let's go on, on channel four and let's progress the Ladic. So it progresses like any other sequencer. And on this sequencer, I could, for example, now just um, Put the step number down a little bit. I'm not doing this at the moment because I have this here. And what is this? This is a pattern selector. Now you're gonna be like, how am I gonna save pattern on this patterns on this tiny sequencer? You won't. You're not saving patterns. There's banks of patterns. There's a few banks you could switch internally with a jumper or with a. Let's say you drill a little hole here, put a switch in here. You could switch it here, uh, which would be cool. But I mean, it's already quite complex because this is 16 patterns. And now let's see what the pattern selector does. Okay, it plays the steps in a different way than before. Now, of course, this is a bit not so interesting because the rhythm that we're playing is not very interesting.
and then we could progress the sequencer a bit faster. And already we got a really really interesting pattern that we could break up by let's say um, we use this pattern and we put the active steps a bit higher um, and then we copy this pattern over I'm, I'm not sure about the uh, appropriate uh, copy uh, mode right now on, on uh, with the knit writer I'm not using this a lot I'm copying mostly by eye at the moment but anyway You can see I made an interesting trigger pattern that goes directly to here while the pitches get switched at other intervals, uh, just at quicker intervals basically. Now I can of course change the interval, how the pitch gets switched and the repetition won't be as uh, monotonous, uh, kind of polyrhythmic, but I'm, I'm leaving this uh, making things more interesting now to the pattern selector of the LADIC. It has some really cool patterns here. And then as soon as it gets to, to 12, or actually beyond, it goes into this all lights on mode, which is a random mode. Now it will play all of these with 20% chance and this one with 40. So this is always your base note, it returns more often to this one. Now I'm not so much into random modes, I, I like uh, repetibility. So I'm going to go back to the last pattern. But yeah, this is really, really cool. I mean, this is so amazing. It's like a 70 quid module or something like that, so 70 euros maybe, and it just does this thing, and it's quantized, so it will work with with pretty much everything, and simple. It's the smallest, most versatile sequencer I think you can find, other than of course the amazing, amazing rhythm by SDS Digital, which is all a very, very overlooked module that I'm gonna go into next time. But this, this, I mean, this is a, a whole digital world of craziness here for a sequencer. Um, but this is very, very hands-on. There is not much you can do wrong, even if you don't have any feel for rhythm, because this needs feel for rhythm, actually. And this will give you very, very nice results, especially for bass lines. Now let's play a little. We'll go into that the next time. Anyway, I'll leave you here with this.